Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living or a retirement worth having. When I'm sitting in the shade, I'm enjoying myself on a beautiful sunny day and, well, champagne. Someone I know apparently had a joke or a fest with God in a private moment that said, I want my man walking in champagne. So here I am, walking in champagne. The point is that there are people in this world who claim other things about people who move and shake to the melody and the method in the song of the Lord. You see, usually they're called pastors. Usually called they're, they're called evangelists. Usually they're called anything but preachers and teachers today. You see, they're usually called pests and other kind of pessimists like to say that today. When I'm working on my computer, I get really tired of the local population that wants to walk right on top of me, literally two inches from me, and try to pick up my computer so they can monkey around on me. There is something called cybercrime today, and most people of intelligence knows what that is today. They understand it's a form of identity theft and fraud, where someone decides that they're going to play in someone's computer, play on someone's phone, or literally ruin thumb drives, gig drives, and other parts of a computer. When I'm talking, I'm actually talking to you about real life. That real life comes at you fast, and a lot of people don't know the rules of the world. It's not true. They're just people who says, I don't care about you who, and I don't care about what the rules are, and I'm going to do whatever the hell I want to because I feel like it, you see? And it sort of puts them at age three. An age three child does those temper tantrums, says, I want it, I want to do this now, etc. It takes discipline from a parent to explain to them why certain things are not okay right now. But any savvy adult, any person of intelligence knows what stalking is. Stalking is when someone is physically on top of you on a regular basis, physically being in your presence, and physically harassing you with information that is not pliable to you. There are other type of people like me who are prophets and are requested by the Lord to speak to someone. I don't usually like doing it, but in the end I usually find out why, and I usually find out from that individual that the individual recognizes why God wanted to have some sort of words of rebuke or some words of repraise or some words of help to make some decisions for the day. You see, in life, we have to decide whether or not we really believe in God. And if we don't believe in God, then don't tout that you believe in God. If you don't believe in one God for the world, then don't tout that you believe in one God for the world. But don't presume that you know God. Isn't that one of the tenets in the Bible? Isn't that part of the Quran in every way that it basically says that none of us are smart enough, savvy enough, or intelligent enough to know the omniscientness of God? You see, God plans everything for everyone is truthful. But when people monkey up those plans for those people, it means that the angels and the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit, which is talked about in almost every archaeological book on God around the globe, literally says that means the angels have to make up for it. They have to rework the whole plan to try to figure you out of your difficulties you're in and put you into better light with God. So think about that. When you're thinking about your life, when you're thinking about what you're doing, what does God think of you? As a pagan pastor, I'm asking you that question because in life we have to do what we do. But in order to do what we do, we need a team of people. We need that triangle or that triad of people who are our key people, our person of interest, our person who's our best pal, and that makes a triangle. But we also need a tribe, and that tribe is usually of 12 people, sometimes a little bit more, but those 12 people refer us completely to new opportunities in business, new work experiences, and new ways to earn a living, because all of us in the world must make a living. If we're not finding a job because of the concept of COVID or because of cybercrime and identity theft and fraud on our life, and people are trying to interfere with us at every second and every turn just because they want to be monsters in our life, then we have to find different ways to pre produce pliable cash. Pliable cash comes apart, comes along from skill sets, true skill sets that are gifted by God and things that you have developed over the years that aren't odd. You see, true work is that in, in whole. True work is everything that's out there in the world today. And true work comes in all different forms. Just because you're an expert in your industry does not make you an expert in someone else's industry. Just because you're an hourly employee does not mean that you can't advance yourself to a salary of some kind with benefits. It's all about what you want to do in life. It's all about where you're willing to play in life. And it's all about where you're willing to stay in life. But sometimes in life we go traveling. Sometimes in life we go experiencing things to decide, do I really want to stay in this city? Do I like the city enough to move in it? Maybe I just need a change of scenery. Maybe I need a change of environment. Maybe I need a place that doesn't have so much competition for me. And maybe, and just maybe, I'm really supposed to be doing something else entirely.